All right, here we are on a Tuesday morning on our 4th of July trip. I think it's July 6th or so right now. Um, took an extra day off of work to try to enjoy some of what Utah has to offer, especially after being in Vegas, drinking, gambling, and partying all night. Coming here was uh, definitely kind of like, a, in a way, a rehab. <laughs> um, it's quite intense. We're actually... As you can see, going up these major switchbacks, um, we're in uh, Zion's Canyon. Uh, we start off this hike, this is supposed to be about a 2.5 mile hike up to Angel's, uh, Angel's Landing. But as you can see, my GPS watch is all whack right now. About 50 minutes and 7.5 miles, but it's been losing satellite reception the whole way through. I uh, don't remember how many switchbacks we've gone up, but it's supposed to take up almost uh, 3,000 feet in elevation, I believe, uh, going straight up almost. Uh, it's quite intense. Uh, kind of go up here. That's the grade right there. Um, it's quite steep. Um, it's amazing how they built some of these pathways because if it wasn't built, it was just dirt, it would be very strenuous and cautious uh, trying to negotiate. But um, it's quite spectacular around this bend. Hopefully, we'll see uh, into Zion's National Park. It's quite insane. Just these massive sandstones. Got to watch where I'm going or else I'll walk off. <laughs> Most of it is in the shade of this hike. But once we get out to this point, supposedly this is where it uh, you hit Scouts Landing. And then from there, as you can see, those people that are trekking all the way up to that point, right up about right there, that's where it separates most people. And it'll just be almost single track with chains. So. But we'll head up there, we'll take a look. Nice part about this hike is that it's shaded most of the way up until this point. So it's nice, cool, but it's always great to start your morning early. Um, key things, don't feed the wildlife here. Uh, it's kind of nice because the squirrels I've seen are not fat, so it's great. Up there, looks like there's porta potties. Uh, so it's convenient. It's actually not too bad of a hike. Uh, if you're not fit, it would be considered strenuous going up uh, grades that are quite steep overall. So let's take a look. She put the time too, <laughs> and the heat. So from here, you can actually hit up Angel's Landing, half a mile out, and. West Room, which is three miles, or it could go much longer all the way around. It could be a two-day backpacking trip. So let's head out towards Angel's Landing. Sorry for the shakiness. Uh, some of the areas are in sand, which is kind of cool. A little bit easier on the knees and the legs. That is sick. That is just insane. Look at the view. Just amazing how some of these plant life are on here. Like take this tree for instance. Barely hanging on to whatever dirt and sand wrapped around the rocks here. Quite awesome. There's the Virgin River, and it's right down there. Just kind of zigzags through. And let's take a look at the start of Angel's Landing. I don't know if I'll end up going up there because it looks quite scary. Um, who knows, might not be that bad looking at some of the people that are up there. Um, but it's definitely not for the 
faint of heart are the ones who are not in shape or scared of heights because it's quite tricky. And as you can see, it's just basically you take a spill, you're gone. That's pretty much it right there. It's just amazing. not to be too bad. Just trying to negotiate people that are going up and also going down. So it doesn't look too bad at all. Who knows, I'll get up there maybe and we'll see. All right, well, let you guys enjoy the view here. And I'll talk to you guys later. That's pretty much the end of our trip. Peace.